Tasha, the period coach here today. I am working on a book. I'm funding it through Kickstarter. Link below. And one of the things that I am doing in this book is I'm showing you just how valuable your period is. So I picked three things that show you three different things about your body based on just your blood alone. Imagine if you made friends with your cycle all month long and you could see what was happening all month long in your body. Even better, right? Brown blood. This is usually something that comes after the period or maybe a day or two before, like spotting. It's blood that didn't get pushed out of the womb, the uterus, in the last cycle. And if it's coming at the end, it's just dredging up of old blood. It's oxidized blood. That generally signals low progesterone in your body. This is something that you can actually fix. You can fix it through food most often. All right, cool, so brown blood. I have low progesterone. I'm gonna go see about getting that elevated. And you can make changes so that you have a healthier period, so that you have all of the hormones that you need. Progesterone is a very important hormone. You need it, you want it, it's, you want it. So excessive blood, right? So this is bleeding heavily. So this is bleeding for more than five to seven days. This is bleeding through several super tampons in a day or super pads. This is heavy bleeding. Excessive blood can signal too high of estrogen. It can signal low vitamin D. There's a few things that it can actually tell you about your body. And you can figure it out by trying some of the things that help alleviate that actual problem. So if you are bleeding excessively, first of all, you need to go to your doctor and make sure there's no fibroids or cysts, anything wrong physically. First and foremost, most important. Secondly, you can do things like watch some of my videos on reducing your estrogen intake, anything labeled PMS, for example. You can start making sure you're getting vitamin D into your diet and vitamin C. Those are also two very common causes or very helpful uh, vitamins to reducing excessive bleeding. But if you're having this, you need to know so that you can fix it so you can get your life back. Because if you're bleeding this much, you're tired, you're anemic, you don't feel good, you're losing your life, and I don't want another woman to be losing her life to something that is like 99.9% .9 of the time fixable, okay? All right, bright red blood. Five to seven days of bleeding, it's bright red, it's not gushing, it's not a trickle, it's a nice healthy flow for the first day or two and then lightens up as it goes. That is a very healthy period, that's good. You want to see that, maybe even pink, like real bright red, like fresh. Oh, I just cut myself, bright red blood, even up to shades of pink. This is really good, healthy period blood. And if you see this and you're not having any PMS and you're not having any cramps and, and, and things are going pretty well, I'd say that's a really good thing. That bright red blood is good, it means Things are in balance. That's exactly what you want to see. That doesn't mean you can skip your doctor's appointments and get your checkups and all of those things, but it's a really good sign, all right? So these are some of the things that we're going to talk about in the book so you can actually start uncovering the awesomeness of your blood, but also we'll go into all sorts of stuff like the pink tax, how menstrual products affect our bodies and our world, how this taboo even got started, all sorts of cool stuff. It's going to be a real fun adventure in there. It's going to be full of mind-blowing facts and great stories. So click the Kickstarter link below and help me publish this book. Thank you so much.